I've got an old folding table that needs to be resurfaced. First thing we gotta do is get it cleaned up. Next we need some liquid wood. We're just gonna go ahead and start painting away. We're gonna go ahead and put that second coat on. You're gonna take that graining tool and go back and forth. It's time to stain. Take a lint-free cloth and you're gonna take it right off. We're gonna use a water-based polyurethane and it looks like a brand new faux wood table. Let's make a tabletop. Use a miter saw to cut the one by three inch pine boards. You'll use these boards around the edge. Make sure you drill pilot holes and then use a countersink bit. Glue the one by 12 inch boards together using wood glue, then clamp them until they're dry. Now attach the one by threes to the edge using wood screws and wood glue. Now for the fun, stain your table a color that you love. Wipe off the excess stain with a soft cloth and apply a coat of wax. Wait, that's the same ugly table? No way. Head down to the local hardware store and choose some of the inexpensive whiteboards. I brought the table outside and set it up. All I had to do was take the one by sixes and lay them out. First thing I want to do is measure the board for some of my cross beams. I'm going to cut those a little bit short using my miter saw. And then I'm going to mark out where I'm going to place the boards because I need to lay some good wood glue down. Then I'm going to take my cross board and use finish nails to put it in. And it's time to put the side pieces on. I'm going to use some one by threes with miter joints. We're going to put the glue on there and use the nails to put it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and use some wood putty, sanded the whole table down, and it was time for staining. And I go ahead and do the whole table. Clear polyurethane. Go ahead and put the new wood table down on top, and it turned out beautiful. The first step to any good refinishing project is sanding. Go ahead and take a microfiber cloth and wipe down the surface. I went ahead and gave it a coat of primer. And I'm going to use this to paint the base of the table, the side of the table, and also the chairs. Now I'm going to start with my darkest color. Once that first layer was dry, I went ahead and moved on to my second paint choice. I also mixed in just a little bit of whitening. This is going to help me give a more textured look, but I also went back over this layer with a clean, dry rag. I mixed all three of these together. I'm going to go ahead and apply this last layer. I went ahead and sanded the chairs. Each chair also got a coat of primer and added a layer of whitening to each of the chairs. And I used these seat covers that I purchased off of Amazon. Take some of this frog tape, then I applied Applied my DIY fabric paint, seal the tabletop using Fama Wood Glaze Coat. And that's it, y'all. I'm so happy with how these turned out. Let's head down to our local hardware store and grab a pre made round tabletop and set a planter on top. We need to draw a circle around the edge. Next, we're going to grab some Jenga pieces. We got to measure them out. We're going to glue these down all over about four to five inches around. We're gonna put this wood stain on going with the grain of the wood. Just wipe it with the grain of the wood. Now it's some clear polyurethane, but this is gonna seal the wood. It's just mix the two parts of the epoxy together. We also need some color. Just lay that clear stuff right out and mix it all down with the stir stick. Next, it's time for turquoise. We're gonna make sure that we rub it all over the board. Next, we're gonna take some white. Next, grab your hair dryer and we're going to spread out that white epoxy and just spread it all over. We want a second coat on top of the base, mixing it as you go and start spreading it out. And you can use it for storage for blankets in the living room. Go ahead and put your tabletop on, so shiny and so clean.